Hello lovelies, I am back with another pen video today. I got bit by the gold nib bug and wanted to try out a Platinum Century 3776. I've been wanting this pen for a long time. I actually intended this pen to be my first gold nib simply because of how reliable everyone says it is and it has that cute little heart detail which i'm a girl and i want a heart shaped nib it's so cute so for this pen i don't have a black fountain pen at all they're all very colorful and feminine and i wanted a more serious looking pen and something classic and i really like the cigar shape of this pen of course, I'm anything but basic, so I had to get the one that had rose gold trim and crystals in it. <laughs> so this pen is a limited edition called The Shape of the Heart. There are only 2,000 of these being made, which is really cool. As you can see, there is a clear finial that is filled with a whole bunch of little crystals and they're all of different sizes from what I can see and some of them are that iridescent rainbow look to them. I'm not sure if it's actually an iridescent rainbow or if it's just the crystal reflecting on that rose gold trim. And inside there are two tiny tiny little gold hearts which I'm going to try to find a little later. Before I forget, this pen also features the slip and seal screw cap which is rumored to keep the pen from drying out for up to two years this pen is very classy looking in my opinion it has that classic cigar shape it's a nice feminine version of that classic executive fountain pen look which is kind of what i wanted so this is a 14 karat gold nib it is stamped with 3776 which is the height of Mount Fuji which is really cool and the nib is also engraved with the little peaks of Mount Fuji this pen is just a full tribute to Japan and that breather hole is just so beautiful I really love how feminine this nib is when you turn it to the side you see that this nib is super flat it has no curve to it whatsoever so I'm curious to see how this pen will write so here I'm desperately searching for this heart-shaped nib and I'm gonna insert a little video here because I literally spent three hours looking for these hearts and inside there are two hearts not just one two and I had such a hard time finding them of course, on my husband's first try, he finds both of the hearts, so <laughs> thanks to him, there's a little bit of footage of a heart, but anytime I try to film this, very difficult to see from the reflection, and also if I move my hand just even a slight bit, the heart disappears. Moving on to inking this pen, it is pretty standard. I mean, I don't own many higher-end pens or entry-level gold nib pens other than that Yoseka Sailor Pro Gear Slim, but it's pretty much the same. Frankly, I wasn't really too impressed with the gift box. I prefer Sailor's clamshell box. I think that was a little bit nicer, but there is a bottle of ink in there, which is really nice to have. And inside of the pen has a little blue-black cartridge. This is the converter, and this pen only takes their proprietary cartridges and converters. And here's that little ink bottle. It has a really cute cap on it that says the shape of the heart, which is really nice. Will I use it? I don't know, but it's nice. So far, I really, really like this converter a lot better than Sailor's. I'm gonna be honest. It 
it feels really sturdy and doesn't like squeak or creak like the sailor did and i like that i was able to fill it up completely on the first try now for the writing test okay so this pen just writes really really beautifully there's not much feedback i was expecting some feedback as a lot of people were mentioning in forums and videos i didn't really get that i'm not sure if it's because of the ink that i use maybe from what i noticed sailor inks tend to be more on the wet side and in here i put a uh, sailor yurameko seiki so perhaps that's what it is but there's not that much feedback i feel like it's a bit bouncy as you saw when i zoomed in the nib it's super flat so it feels kind of bouncy it's it's stiff but it has like i don't know it has a bouncy-ish feel to it and overall the the pen feels super balanced for a woman i have some pretty large hands and i feel like the size of this pen is really nice it's not top heavy it feels just right it's perfect i'm not sure if the other versions of this pen are the same but for me it feels very proportionate i i really like it i can see myself writing for a very long time with this pen and here i'm comparing the only 14 karat gold nib that i have which is that sailor and yoseka pen and yeah the sailor pen is a little skinnier but it's still balanced and nice. That feedback is just unique to Sailor. I can't really compare the two nibs or the two writing experiences because they're just totally different. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on this pen. Um, if you would like me to review a different pen, let me know. For my next gold nib, I would really like to try either a Sailor 21 Carat or a Pilot Custom. Yeah, I think I want to try the Pilot Custom next. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you own a gold nib pen. And if you do, what do you have? If you have multiples, which one is your favorite? If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. And if you like content like this, consider subscribing down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.